Hi Pisces! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your chapter 2. Okay. The sun, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now I didn't forget about you guys. Chapters just takes time. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no time about it. That's why. So let's see what's going on for my Pisces, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. We're also going to be using the Game Changer here. Okay. Here we go. I'm using the Verse deck. Ooh, what's ooh? That's wrong. Hmm. Oh, it's good and it's bad. Right? It's always like that. Well, there's a game changer, so the good might come bad and the bad might come good. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh, positive. There's something going on here. It's very positive. Here, amazing. However, the first part is rough, so stick with it, okay? The first part is rough. As you move forward, it gets less rocky. Three of Swords, Heartbroken, Ten of Cups. So this can be heartbroken relationship, of course. But I'm sensing here because the Ten of Cups energy is healing. So can be this Three of Swords now has been forgotten. Things are over and things are well. That's what I'm sensing here. I like this kind of spread because it's like, this is what was, it's gone. You're happy now. Ten of Cups. Three of Swords can be betrayal, heartbroken, whatever that was. No more. It's gone. Salvation is here, basically. That's what the card is. So, you, you, you know, it's like that's the rocky part. The rocky, rocky start, okay? Again, you don't get the Three of Swords like, oh my god, right? Too much. So, you're in a better place. You're in a better place, which is good. You have your Four of Wands, so definitely there's a relationship. And a Seven of Wands. However, when things were, you know, like things worked out, yes. But now the four, the seven of wands here, of course, with the four, uh, seven of wands with the four of wands, there's some level of restriction. Okay. So behind the seven of wands is like, okay, you can't drop the ball or else you get cut. You can't drop the ball or else, you know, this whole thing comes down to you. So you're going to keep juggling right now. Okay, so whatever, whatever happiness you have right now, it's almost like, well, I can't drop the ball. I need to, you know, I need to make this work with the four of wands. So, so you're trying to make the work, the, the relationship work out. All right, and there is no way that you can drop it, or else you're gonna get, you know, it's like it's you're being challenged right now. Oh well, the next to it again is another seven of wands. It's interesting. So a lot of restrictions. Okay. Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. This is restriction on top of restriction. Okay? This is a lot of self-control. Because the Four of Pentacles is like your fortress. Okay? You're keeping things to yourself. You know, On top of that, you're not allowing things to come to you. So it's like total shutdown. We are on shutdown. It's almost like the government, the shutdown, right? So you're in a shutdown to maintain this to maintain this uh, energy with you. It's like, you know, yes, I'm happy. Yes, it's difficult, it's challenging, but I need to make sure that this is a lockdown. You know, like you're making sure everything is good. Nothing should go wrong right now. This is what you're saying, it's a lockdown. And then you have here the Ace of Swords with the Princess of Wands. Because there is communication with the Prince of Wands. You can be, okay. Just from just from the same thing here because the three of swords is here, like you're trying to block a communication from someone, okay? Someone that you're attracted to, you're attracted to someone and you don't want to talk to them right now. That's it, princess of wands, because that's um, um, chemistry, and then ace of swords is communication. So the truth is, you're this, this is truth card also. You are attracted, yes, but you're putting it behind. It's almost like so that you can keep this good thing going on right now. Let me see crowning energy. You have the magician and let me see the nine of wands. Oh wow, you're really, you know, you're really putting it away. The magician can do everything, right? But behind it, it's like it doesn't want to manifest right now. You're in defense, which it says there also. So again, it's a lockdown. You're, you know, it's like because the magician is like. Well, I do whatever I want, and I can do it, you know, that's the magician. But with the Nine of Wands over here, it's like, you put yourself, it's like, you know what, I don't want to do it right now. I'm just going to, 
um, be here with the Nine of Wands. You're keeping yourself at bay, you know, and you don't want to manifest things right now because for you, it's like, well, I have this level of happiness. I cannot. I have to keep it. You know, there's challenges that is coming your way with the relationship. So you're keeping it. You're keeping everything at bay. You know, that's what I'm sensing here. So I'm going to continue this reading, Pisces, and you know, the, with the things that you're trying to keep at bay. Well, um, and I'll see how far it goes, but there's something positive here, okay? As I told you, it's like, it's rocky, but it ends well, all right? Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful chapter two. I'll see you guys again. Bye.